Hi, Feldrain here. Uh, today I want to show you an application that I'm making. It's called Paper Machine 1973. Um, I'm basically making this because I like to make software and I like to make games. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to show you what I've done. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to show you. So there you go. That is a notepad editor that is not finished yet for um, my programming and uh, well um, programming and obviously basic notepad stuff I will probably be replacing my notepad editor with this um, application very soon so here we go so it's a basic frame you can resize it and you can like you know type text here so if I want to go like that you know, code blah 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 or whatever, or windows.h which you know a lot of people use and stuff like that, so yeah um, it can write text, but obviously it needs syntax highlighting, themes and a whole load of other stuff um, so you're probably wondering why there's a file it l uh, why there isn't a file why there isn't a load, why there isn't a theme, why there isn't an option and why there isn't an about because I think it's getting a bit old and people need to be a bit more creative so I have so as you can see I have paper instead of file which is like blank paper it's like new in a normal text editor printer printer configuration is like like um uh da, 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 what's it called um load so oh no, actually no it's more like preferences actually this one there's going to be an option down here called well actually no here this is where you load so here's your preferences, here's your load, here's your license plate or your copyright information, here's your credits, and then here's the manual. Like the, uh, you know what manual is, I don't need to explain that. Then you have your minimize button, your maximize button, which actually works, uh, and your close button. So it's that simple. This, I don't know if that actually works, it doesn't look like it. I don't think I fixed it yet. I still need to finish a lot of stuff off. It's still in beta. Um, I do plan to work on this a bit more actually because I'm very interested in how I've done this and I really like it so I might actually replace my notepad editor with this so that's something to think about so yeah uh, I hope you enjoyed this video um, thank you for watching oh actually wait no I'm going to show you the code as well sorry forgot that because I'm a idiot <coughs> sorry so here you go, you've got require Ruby gems, require WX, your main class, you, your frame, so you can create your new frame, uh, you give it a window title, here's your editor, which is your WX rich text control widget, uh, your, your fonts for the uh, widget, then you've got the menu bar, the menu items, then you give stuff to those menu items, um, and then you create a status bar, then you um, put the menu bar on the frame, you show the frame, you end it all, you just continue the loop. There you go. So that's a lot of, quite a lot of work actually, but it's actually a lot harder than it looks trying to find this information, you know. So you just need to be careful when you're looking around for code because you never know. It's like you one minute you'll hope you find it and then you don't. And it's like, oh no, I thought I found it, but no, you don't. So I don't know what I was talking about. Anyways. Thank you for watching, enjoy.